Welcome back to Das Lab. Uh, today we got something. It was a side of the road find, and uh, see if you can figure out what the problem is with it. Didn't get that? Don't think it's supposed to sound like that. So we're going to put this on the bench and see if we can uh, learn a little bit about real mowers. Okay, well, uh, you're learning as I am. Uh, Never had one of these growing up. My grandmother did. Um, but it uh, looks like it's like a scissor action. And it's basically metal on metal. This seems to be spring loaded. There's some. Uh, come on, come back a little bit. There's some springs here. One on this side, and one on that side. And. This rotates and makes a horrible, god awful sound on there. Let's see if I can get you right in where the action is. Right? So, this is a corkscrewing type thing. So, I don't know if maybe that's what it's supposed to sound like. Uh, I don't know how you'd sharpen this. Like, it doesn't feel like totally dull. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to go do a bit of research. Uh, there's not really much to it. No spark plugs, <laughs> no fuel lines. Uh, just beer powered, I guess. So, uh, I imagine, because this is spring loaded, I don't want to get my fingers in there for some reason, I'm just a little shy. If this is spring loaded, yeah, just sort of spring loaded. I mean, maybe the tension's up too high. Let's see. You could guess. Ooh, guessed wrong. Nowadays, I wouldn't be surprised if it was metric. Yeah, it's adjustable. How far out can it come? Okay, so right there, it's already off that mark. Off that side. And it's off that side. So this should just freewheel now. Yeah. So there wasn't much pressure on that. There wasn't much pressure on there, so let's just crank it up a little bit until it just starts to make that sound. And then over here, and about there, and yeah. So it's no, it's definitely squeaking on this. All right, we'll have to go do a bit of research. All right. So, uh, guess what? Yeah, you knew already, didn't you? This is not supposed to be touching this. Okay, so this should be uh, back off. About there. And about there. Still a little bit. Very small adjustments. That's what it's supposed to sound like. So like that, and it's supposed to be able to cut paper. It doesn't seem like it's not sharp. That's not cutting paper, is it? Let's see, get a little closer. Yeah, 
maybe so it's just slightly touching. Oh, beautiful. <clears throat> so, um, what I am going to do is back this right off and uh, get in there with a stone and uh, just dress that edge up a bit. These seem sharp. <clears throat> How far can I go with that? Usually I go too far. Diamond hone. I know there's lapping compound and all the stuff that you can use. Um, that's great. Dude, I don't have any. Don't forget, this is just a yard find, right? Well, that's sharper. How about these bad boys? Oh yeah, quite a burr on them. Yeah, I think I might have to get some lapping compound, but any event, we figured out what the squealing was. Maybe we'll just put it together and go see if we can uh, cut some grass with it. Although the grass was just cut yesterday, we'll put her down and give her a try. After all, I'm not cutting paper, I'm just cutting grass with it, right? How far we got to go? Long way. Long way! Let's do it there. Okay, well that, that's fast, so... Put it together and go give it a test. There you go. Squeal no more. So we're going to see what we do with this thing. Uh, get one of the kids pushing it around the yard. Uh, that's all I got for you this time on Das Lab. Have fun. Be safe. And uh, for God's sakes, don't get any on you. See you next time. Subscribe.